Hi, and welcome to another fit chat with Monica. Or should I call it a coffee chat? Even though I'm having matcha latte. obsessed with matcha latte lately because I kind of want to get away from coffee anyways my intros are always like I, I guess maybe this is why I'm not a youtuber first of all I'm like hunched like this it's really annoying maybe if I like move the camera there we go so let's try this again thank you guys for joining my fit chat with Monica I know that uh, it is new January 2019 do you remember like those movies that you would see and they'd show like oh in the future 2022 or something we're almost at 2020 guys we're this is the future so since it's january and um a lot of newbies they have a resolution new year's resolution of losing weight there are there's like um some unsaid gym etiquette i guess you can say and um it's very important that you kind of know it not that you know there's like a set rule or anything but just kind of to keep things going and, and keep everyone happy when i used to go to la fitness some of the things that people would do would really tick me off but now i go to a private small gym and it's like it's heaven on earth everyone re-racks the weights everyone's just focused on going to the gym on working out so let's talk etiquette i think one of the major things is um to know where you are i know it seems kind of dumb like know where you are well i'm at the gym but i think that sometimes people forget that i've seen some people that just go to the gym they get on their they're on a machine um like a weight machine let's say a leg press or something and they're just texting and you're kind of like okay like when can i go i want to you know so it's kind of like if you're there know that you're at the gym and you're not at the mall or at the park um just chit chatting you know if you want to do that by all means maybe do it somewhere else where it's not the gym just realize that there's other people that want to work out and um especially now in january it gets really crowded and some people like whether it's in the morning they gotta go to work or in the afternoon they're just like i'm dying to get home i was working and now i'm at the gym like so people just want to sometimes you know get in do their stuff and get out so i think it's very good to be conscious conscious that is the word conscious of the other people waiting around you know there's, I mean, yes, I will sometimes get like a text. Hey, what do you want from for dinner today? I'll be like, uh, da, 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 something quick. That's fine. Like as you're resting, that's fine. That's totally fine. But it's like when it goes over like five, 10 minutes, then that's not cool. Another thing, the second thing is re-whack your, <laughs> re-rack your weights. However, I feel like I'm the kettle calling Wait, the pot calling the kettle black? The kettle, yeah, the pot calling the kettle. I didn't used to re-rack, I was just like, who cares? You know, everyone else around me is not re-racking, so why do I have to do it? I swear my blush doesn't look this intense in person. Like, I feel like the light shining on it, it looks so intense. You gotta re-rack. Like now at my new gym, I re rack the weights. Everyone does it, so it's kind of like if you don't do it, shame on you. You know, there'll be leg presses that have like 10, 45 pound plates, and you're in a hurry, and that just took up five minutes of your time to um, unrack the weights. Do it from the girl that didn't use to re rack, and I know how annoying it is. Sorry for those that would come after me at the gym, but I promise now I re rack. And ladies, don't do my mistake. Another important thing at the gym. I'm all for music. And I'm not one that really, it bothers me if someone has like a little radio. I love music. I've got my headphones on so I probably can't even hear it. But I know that there's other people that get really annoyed. Like I have friends that are like, oh my God. <sighs> you know, and I can 
see how that can be annoying. Maybe the person likes to listen to country music or like super sad, sappy music and you're like, oh my God, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to like bench press this because this music makes me wanna cry or whatever. Just get some headphones. Unless you know you're like by yourself, like you go at a time that the gym is empty. But a lot of people don't want to listen to your music, unfortunately. It seems like a great gesture so people can have, you know, music to listen to, but everyone just kind of wants their own music. So maybe don't bring a boom box or like an Alexa. Just get yourself some headphones. You know, if you spill something, which I'm clumsy. I'm clumsy as hell. Like I spill things all, all the time, but I pick it up. Don't just leave it there. See, that's a hazard. Someone can slip. If you spill something, just make sure to pick it up. Or if you're eating something. This is just a personal opinion. Um, it's not that it bothers me or anything, but like, it kind of grosses me out if you eat at the gym. Like all that sweat and all those nasty germs and you're just there like, I personally can't do. If you want to go for it, go for it. But there are some people that don't like the smell. I wouldn't eat on the gym floor maybe in the locker room, but sometimes like, um, I know a couple of my friends, certain foods and certain smells make them want to gag. So it's not really something that you want as you're working out, like wanting to throw up, you know, sometimes or it makes them nauseous or maybe you're already nauseous from working out and you smell it and you want to throw up. So maybe just eat in the locker room. I mean, if you're going to have like a bar or something that doesn't have any smell, then that's cool. But sometimes smells do irritate other people. The very, very last one for the day. Wipe down your machine. I don't know why this is a hard one for some people. Did you not watch uh, Sesame Street or Barney? Clean up, clean up, everybody everywhere. Clean up, clean up. It's just common sense, you know? You sweat, you have your germs on the machine. Sometimes if you're sick, you don't want the germs. Oh, 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 which reminds me. Yes, very, very, very important. Yes, I've gone to the gym when I'm sick, yes, but I am also very cautious of like, walk. I have a little of those Bath & Body Works, the, um, the hand sanitizer, so I have that with me and I'm constantly, you know, going like this or with a paper. Okay, I've done it. I've, I've done it, it's probably not, ideal but done it so just be a little bit mindful if you're sick now if i have something like pink eye or the flu something super contagious that you know maybe you still feel like yeah i can go to the gym i feel great but you got something really contagious um don't go and my rule of thumb is if you are in school in elementary or middle school and you they were to send you home because you had that whatever it is pink eye blah blah um not fleas oh gosh what do you call those in the hair um not ticks not dandruff lice like if you have lice like they'll send you home just um you know don't go to the gym if you got lice i understand that you feel great to go to the gym and you don't have to miss a workout like you can do something at home at the park there's fresh air it's not like a concentrated place where all your germs are in one place Whoa! You guys fell. You might want to opt out and just work out from home. There's nothing wrong with that. Once in a while, change it up. Alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed my gym etiquette and that it helps you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video gives you a little bit of insight to have a great gym experience. And I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching.